Hi everyone, this is Laura, and today I am going to be doing a show and tell video. And you guys seem to like those. Um, I show a little bit of some things that I bought, and I show um, some things that I made. So let me get started. Um, the first thing is I did a little tiny, tiny bit of shopping on Friday with Susan, and so. Um, we went to Michael's Tuesday morning, and um, I picked up these and these in the clearance. They were a dollar a pack, and um, then their stickers, all the recollection stickers, were 60% off. So I got um, these right here, and two are missing, and I'll show you what I did with them. And then I got these little um, sticky notes that are transparent. And I love that. I haven't ever seen these before, but I've used like the post-it ones and these have the design. So that'll be super cute to use. And then, um, look at these cute kitty stickers and they are, um, puffy and they're just super cute. So I got two of those. Um, I found these right here, which I thought were really cute. And then these donuts right here, which are puffy donuts. So that is all I got at Michael's, <clears throat> and um, what I did was I took two of the unicorns and two of these round um, tags, and they are wood, and this is how they turned out, which um, I thought they turned out really cute. These are the Recollection ribbons from Michael's, and these are two, and so... I just stuck um, some little sequins, an enamel dot, and then this little Maggie Holmes word right here that says so cute. And then this one, of course, I like the pink one better. Um, it says adorable. So those are what I made with those tags. And I kind of want to go back and get some more of those tags because they're really super cute. Okay, so at Tuesday morning, let me move this real quick. <clears throat> you guys, sorry about my voice. I'm... I don't know, I think I might be on the verge of getting sick, which is not good. So um, I found these at Tuesday morning and I thought they were really cute. I found this um, washi tape and it was only 79 cents for that big roll. Want it, love it, need it. And then I found these and I was thinking that I could paint them. They had like five or six more packs, but um, the heads were broken off. So this is the only one where the heads weren't broken off. So I got that one. And I don't really mind like one green one. And then um, I found this um, thing of thickers. And they're just really pretty words in gold um, foil. And then that's the other side. And then the last thing I got was this right here thickers and these are called Palm Springs by Dear Lizzie and I like that houndstooth and then um, I got this little um, bubble what's it called a speech bubble because um, I thought it would be kind of cute to um, whenever I put down one of these little kitty um, stickers to put like meow or hi or something like that next to it I don't know if that's pretty small, so we'll have to see. But it's kind of the right size for these. So that's why I got that. Um, all right, so the last thing is I went to Joann's. And um, I it's been a long time since I've been to Joann's because they just, the Joann's around me is not, um, it doesn't have anything good at it. And this Joann's didn't either. But um, they had a section called Miss sparkle and company and I had never seen it before um, but that doesn't mean anything because I haven't you know been there in a while but everything in this brand that I saw was a dollar ninety nine so um, I love this sticky note tape because um, I like using it for like my lawn fawn stamps whenever I go to use like dies I cut or you know I put this on to um, hold it down in place and it's not, um, it's not super sticky, but sticky enough. But I also like to use it in my planner. 
And so I like that. And that was $1.99. All these things were $1.99. And then um, there was this two pack of washi tape. And that says fabulous, love, beautiful. And um, so yeah, it's the Smith Sparkle and Company. And I love a white with black polka dot on it. And then there were several kinds of adhesive. This one was um, a half an inch double sided tape. 20 yards, you guys, for $2. So, you know, can't really beat that. And then there was um, several of these also. And these are just two by three um, little sheets of paper. And this is the neutral pack. They had brights. They had, um, I can't remember what other ones. But I liked this one because I liked the pink and the soft colors too, like these right here. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> use this for my... Um, my what's it called punch board the alphabet punch board since it's already cut and then the last thing I got at um, Joann's was this bone folder and I had never seen it before and so it was I think it was 40% off 30 or 40 so I went ahead and got that I thought it was kind of cute so um, that's all the things I bought and then I made a couple things um, oh, I did buy this mirror right here, and this is what it looks like, and then I put all these jewels on it, and I wanted to do this because I saw how Tammy, um, SS Crafter won, and Anna did theirs, and Anna is, um, Serenity Creations, and so I wanted to make one, um, because I didn't get one as a gift, um, <laughs> And so I wanted to make my own. So this is what I made. And this right here is like, to me, the star of the show. This is a piece from Marissa. And I had been hoarding this for probably, she sent this to me probably about four or five years ago. And I just think it looks really super pretty right there. And then this um, piece right here is an arty cake. And then these two things were um, rings from downtown LA. And then just some miscellaneous beads and stuff so that is how my compact turned out this is really super pretty um there's like the magnifying one and then the regular mirror and this one um is not like in the dollar 50 bin this one is a little bit nicer um it is i think it was regular 2.99 or 4.99 or something like that but it was on sale and um so yeah, I got that. I just, I thought that turned out really pretty. Um, and then I made a couple tags. Now these I made a couple weeks ago and I forgot to show them. So I'm going to show you guys, um, because when I found them, I was like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. So this is using the Maggie Holmes paper, the new, her new line, um, Chasing Dreams. And so I thought that turned out really pretty. I love these butterflies right here. And then this is another tag that I made and this is a butterfly that I made um, to try and copy that one. Susan and I made a bunch of these, um, I don't know, last month I guess. And so I put one on there and I thought that turned out really pretty. And that's the back. And then um, I made a couple cards because I have two um, birthdays um, coming up in the next week or so. And this is the first one I made. and. Um, this is a tassel from Van with a cute little clip right here. And I just thought that was kind of cute. And then this flower right here is, um, a gift from Anna. And I just thought it looked really pretty on this card. So that's how that looks. And then I just put some washi and some paper in there. And then oops, the um, other card that I made is this one right here. And, um, this is a flower that I made that is um, the Maggie Holmes die and these um, papers. I don't know what papers these are. They're, it's just something I found um, and I put them aside like I need to make some cards with them. So there was just uh, this one, this one, and then this one right here and this one. And that's all there was in the paper and they were six by six. So. Um, yeah, that's all I have. <clears throat> and then, I don't know, maybe you guys will know, it came with this thing of washi. 
So I don't know um, what that was from, but I think the cards turned out pretty. And then um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys was this. This is a clear acrylic block that I got at Home Goods, and I just thought it was kind of pretty. And I have my Maggie Holmes flowers stored in there, so um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how long that lasts. It looks kind of pretty in there. And then um, I know I showed you guys my um, uh, what's it called? My Planner Society kits how I have it organized but I did it even a little bit better so now this is what it looks like right here and um, so yeah I just have it like that so the washi you can kind of see the um, the different kits and what you know the theme was and then I have the little pin cases right there and then um, this right here is wait that right there is my little um, photo printer and then the last thing that I wanted to show you guys and I have to move my camera all the way up here is my little unicorn and I got that at Target and I just wanted to show you guys because I totally forgot about it got it a couple weeks ago so you guys that's it I hope you guys have a great week let me put this back down here and um, I will talk to you later bye